We've gotten the question a few times on whether when Abigail is, you know, with with the sleep challenges that she has, if she's just dead to the world in the morning, if we ever just keep her home and not take her to school first thing. Yes. On occasion, we do that. Today's one of those days. She's still asleep. It's 9.20 in the morning. So, we'll see what time she wakes up today. Uh, could not drag her out of bed like wasn't happening. Hugs and kisses. Good morning. Did you have a good sleep? It is still morning, so that's good. What are you doing? Okay. Did you sleep good? You did, I'm glad. It is 11.20. Wow. Guess we needed that. You know those like things you must have around the house? This is called Sugru. You can basically fix anything with it. I have fixed the soles of shoes. I've mounted GoPro mounts to bicycle helmets with it. And now I've got a, oh, I have a broken battery for my drill. And I'm going to fix the casing. But I'm running low and I'm gonna order some more. I only have one pack left, so I'll have, this is like this is like duct tape. You have to have this. You need this. Once you have it, you'll use it for everything, trust me. I'll leave a link down below. It's awesome stuff. There we go. See it's like a it's like a moldable glue. It's kinda messy, but it does the trick. Well, I fixed a camera body one time. I had a cracked camera body and I fixed that. Like I, I couldn't mount it on a tripod anymore because it was broken at the tripod mount. Fix that, never had an issue with it again. It's like a $700 camera. What are we doing? Mm, that means golf cart, what are you saying? In a car, go in a car. Well, you got a bowl out, are you wanting cereal? Cereal, yeah, that was close, look at me. Cereal, like this. Sort of. Like that, cereal. I will also put your whole hair kit, Abby, in the link down below. A lot of people are asking about that water bottle, but the case and the hair ties and the wet brush, all that, those are awesome too. I'll put that in the link down in the description. Oh, and your table tests, right? We've had people ask about those too. Um, Ab's favorite table tests, I'll link those down below. But I've got, we've got, a, I've got an idea. I wanna do a video on some table task ideas that are like, Homemade. Super cheap, yeah. Homemade and like, yeah, exactly. Um, stuff they've actually used at school for Abigail. Um, uh, well, we gotta we gotta grab a few things from like Dollar Tree or something like that, so we can put that together. But they're great. They're really good. So no, the next question is: Are we taking Abby to school? No. It's now 11:45. We wouldn't leave out of here until probably 12:30. Get Abby to school by one. Pick her up at three. This doesn't make sense. Half hour drive, you know, hours worth of drive. School here. Yeah, school at home. All right, pro tip, folks. If your child likes to stim with paper, that kind of thing, the packaging from Amazon packages, um, she can't tear them and shred them and make a huge mess, but she still gets the same sensory input. So, if your kid's into that, especially these ones, these ones are super strong. So, what I'll do is I'll just cut a little panel out of this, and then she can use that. Till it's all, till it's no longer crinkles, and then you throw it away. Cut it let's go, let's go, let's go. Put your shoes on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. You gotta find what? Hey, I didn't understand. I didn't hear what you said. A feta cheese block. A feta cheese block. Okay. Sperry. We have our words, we have our shoes. Did I link what? This bag. That bag? Um, maybe? Uh, I'll look, if not, okay. it's linked down below. Do you want this one? Yeah? Okay. That Abby squad. No, I haven't talked about it in a while. So that backpack is, um, we partnered with um, a mom in the UK and Born Anxious is the brand, but um, she has a son with autism, and her proceeds, we split the proceeds half and half, her proceeds are going to nonprofit there. Our proceeds are going to Camp I Am Special here. I love being able to do that kind of thing. Yeah, especially partnering with somebody else, like she knows what she's doing with that stuff, I wouldn't know. Yeah. I wouldn't know how to make a backpack. <laughs> 
how to do all that. We've never done backpacks. Aw. The girls are picking me up and we're gonna go to the park. Good idea, Mom. <laughs> oh, you're making it your own, huh? Of course I am. I can tell, yeah. I see some some chicken over there. Yep. All right. We're down. Are you down? She's down. Tick tock. Tick tock. Coming in clutch. So they had. Feta with peppercorn. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. And then, of course, you have to have a fun pasta. So I got rotelli. Oh, don't. Hey, you stepped on it. Where did it go? Pick it up. Pick it up. My question is. Where did it go? I think I need both blocks of this for that. Yeah, because it was a real big block in the TikTok video. Yeah. yeah. So, we're doing it. Priscilla's making a TikTok recipe. Uh, you guys can check that on, out on her channel. Um, it will already be up because by the time you watch this, because uh, it went up on Thursday, so go back and watch that. Uh, see how it turns out, because I know a lot of people are making this. Yeah, but, but you're not a tomato fan. I haven't done it because- Y'all know how I'm much worried. I hate tomatoes. She's putting this entire thing of tomatoes <laughs> in this dish. So we'll, have to, we'll have to see. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna spoil it on here. Y'all have to go over to her channel yep. and see it, because it's, you know Priscilla's got to put her twist on. If you if you watch Priscilla's channel, uh, Silla stuff and things, you'll know she's she always puts her twist on recipes, um, changes them up, up a little bit, and makes them her own. You know, Just the way that she the way that she cooks, she's always done that. So uh, I'm excited to see how it turns out though. Yeah. I will put a link for her channel right up here. Um, Super late. This video is yeah. sponsored uh, by Silla stuff and things. Uh, so <laughs> shout out to. Oh, is it? Yeah, right? I'm paying you with food. Oh, okay. Okay. And wine? We're doing and wine. wine yeah. But nice. well, that's part of the TikTok. Oh. You have to like you drink while you're waiting for it to cook. Gotcha. <laughs> so you're making a TikTok? <laughs> Are you making a TikTok or nope. just a oh. A but YouTube video. Yeah. But the one I okay. The wine is always in the TikTok. I see. <laughs> so it seems like a viable excuse <laughs> to drink wine. We also did a video, um, just a short, we, I'm loving doing these short little videos and put them on Facebook, a uh, little video at the park talking about communication and how we implement communication into the fun activities to get her to communicate more. Yeah. So, you know, we, we probe for more communication, more than necessary. Like we know that she wants to swing. We know she wants us to open the car door, but we probe for it to get her to communicate more. So yeah. make sure you're, I know some of you guys don't have Facebook, but you can watch it anyway, the link. Link is down there. You can watch it without a Facebook account. You can just click on the video. I think so. Yeah, you just can't comment or anything. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but click on it and let me know. Let's talk ceilings. I know this is this is the gripping content that you guys come for, right? What'd you say? Let's talk what? Ceilings. Oh. What'd you think I said? I didn't know. Oh. So this is what Abigail looks at in the kitchen. Um, I've seen a few comments like, oh she doesn't like it. Like I don't think that she dislikes it. I think she just looks at it. Yeah. She looks at a lot of ceilings, at most ceilings, at every ceiling. Uh, vents are a big thing for yeah. her. Always it freaks us out. Yeah. We're like, girl. You know in the horror movies where like the fingers come out of the vent? <laughs> so this has a big vent in the side of it, and she's always looking at it. Um, she's always done that, though. And I think if she didn't like it, she wouldn't sit in this room, because she is here half of the time that she's home, she literally working. Through the kitchen. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't think it's a matter of not liking it, um, but she's always looked at ceilings. I know a lot of people commented on it because it's been more so since we had the kitchen redone and that's a new addition to the kitchen. But I mean, it's, you know, it's a big metal thing. Big, yeah, lots of shapes and shadows and the vent and there's, there is lights in the bottom. Sometimes the fan's on and all those things. So there's a whole lot of sensory input going on from you know, from that thing. So I think it's interesting to her brain. You know, we, we know how she looks at ceilings. We don't know what she sees. Man, I would love to live in her head for a day. Right? Just so I could better understand. A minute. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I can handle a day. You know, as much as input as she takes in. Like, I don't know if you or I could could handle living in her brain for a day. I think it just, 
she processes so much and so differently, I think it would terrify us just because of how different it is. I really believe that. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Do you? Mm -hmm. Have you ever thought about that? Oh yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. We've talked about it before. Where we wish we could be in her brain, but I don't yeah. know that we could function. I don't know that we're prepared for that. She's been doing it for fifteen years. Yeah. And she adapts very well. So well. Way better than like we do sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Adapting to an environment that makes mm -hmm. you uncomfortable. Like I mean, imagine you know like the challenges that she's faced, and then yeah, we're talking about you. It's all good things. It's yeah. all good things. We're so proud of you. Yes. You're kind of awesome. Yeah, and you got the comfy pants on, so, you know. Are you ready for dinner? Thumbs up for comfy clothes. Yeah. Look, she's blue. <laughs> looks good, right? I'm going to take it out. I can show that because that's not the finished product, right? Nope. Okay. Getting cleaned up from dinner. This Pris is in bed. Little Moss, the princess. We did a late dinner, which is like super late dinner, which is okay because... She had a late start to her day, so yeah. <laughs> kind of makes makes sense. She had breakfast at like eleven thirty. Oh, it doesn't make us any less tired, though. Right. Okay. I feel like every night you close the vlog out. I'm, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, you do wipe down the kitchen a lot. I do. <laughs> it's Priscilla's biggest pet peeve is people leaving a mess in the kitchen. She's like, I feel like I clean the kitchen seven times a day. You do. Yeah, I do. I just can't wake up with my house being like crazy, you know? I understand. I don't know. Just. I appreciate it because <laughs> I would go to bed with it a mess. <laughs> but I like waking up with it organized. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, peeps. Toodles. Bye. See you tomorrow. If you watch on Facebook, I know like I'm always pointing up to a thing that's not there. That's for YouTube. If you're on Facebook, I'll put the link down in the description, which also might be above me. It's the description for the video, wherever that is. It's above you. It's above me, okay. It's right up there. <laughs>